Warning, the following program contains scenes of graphic stupidity between a man and some games. Don't take anything Android State too serious, I'm just messing around. This video should not be viewed by anyone. How's it going everybody? Welcome back to Days Gone. Now today we have another quest in Iron Mike's camp. I thought, last time we played, I honestly thought that the game was ending. Because we took on the Reaper leader, Carlos, we took him out and it felt, you know, it felt like it was ending but fortunately it is not. And today we have another quest here in Iron Mike's camp. Now I thought that this was gonna be with Schizo because Iron Mike left Schizo go and Schizo betrayed us so you know he deserved, deserves to be blasted a little bit but we have a quest here in Iron Mike's camp that I cannot even... there you go. It's, uh, it's another one with Sarah, it's a flashback with Sarah. Now I thought that we were done with this because O'Brien, the guy that kind of saved Sarah, he said that she didn't make it so I thought that we were done with Sarah, with all the flashbacks and Sarah, Sarah stuff, but it doesn't look like it. I don't really know where the story is gonna go now. I thought that, you know, I don't know. Sorry, no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, no idea what I'm doing. Yeah, it uh, sums up my life no, right there. This is your clutch. I know where the clutch is. Uh, do you want me to show you how to do this or not? Yes, but I know where the clutch is. Okay, fine. All right, so this is triggering a flashback. Oh, did Deacon teach Sarah how to ride the bicycle? <laughs> the motorbike. <laughs> I honestly thought that we were done with this, but it doesn't look like it. Because I was wondering what Deacon was going to do after, f you know, giving up or finding out that Sarah didn't make it. Because in the beginning, I feel like he he was hoping really hard that she did hey, make it. Hey, hey, what are you doing? You can't park here. Uh, I'm just here to pick it's up Sarah's property. Now turn around, get the hell out of here. Come on. Okay. <sighs> Move it. Yep. Uh, uh, okay, uh, you know what, though? I think I'm just gonna wait right here. You can go back to doing your guard the cornfields thing. This is Officer Moore at the gate. We got an issue here. Hey, listen, asshole, this is a restricted area. I told you, get the hell out of here. Okay. Hey, hey, you just wait right there. I told you, move it. It's like I was trying to say, I'm just here you to pick up... Did you not see that sign? Oh, look at that. That's kind of hard to miss. I'm authorized to use deadly force. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Hey, whoa, whoa, what's going on? <laughs> I'm sorry, Miss Whitaker. It's, it's what, fine, I, Do you know this asshole? Yeah, he's with me. He's with me. Sorry, ma'am. I, I on, didn't know go. that... It's fine. Honestly, I apologize. I almost got blasted. Oh, and Jim. Deacon. I'm not with her. She's with me. Hold on tight. Nice. <laughs> Why do you always do that? Do what? Act like such a dick. Because I am one. Come on, he started it. What are you In a good way. Hey, watch the clutch. Remember, you gotta give it enough gas, rev up the RPMs. I got this. Yeah, I can hear. Where are we headed? Over to the dam. That's a nice, quiet road, right? Are you driving? What no. are they doing, huh? Are we still going out tonight? You said something might come up. Uh, crap, yeah. Uh, Boozer and the boys want to ride down to Clam Estate, visit Jack. So you're gonna blow me off to go see some guy in prison? Jack's not some guy. I know, I know. I was kidding. I honestly don't know where the story is going. I thought that we were gonna, you know, be hell bent on revenge after Schizo, but this is better actually. Oh no, what's gonna happen? It's a big truck. Oh, shit, look out. You're right. Oh my God. Jesus. I don't know what it is, but every time I'm on a bike with you, some idiot in a truck tries to run us off the road. Oh my God. No, 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 no. Listen, listen, listen. You did great. You did great. Uh, most people, they would have panicked. They would have oversteered and that would have gotten us killed. I almost did get us killed. I was, no, no. I wasn't paying attention and I was distracted. Hey, it's okay. It's okay. Just breathe. You're okay. Wait a second. What did, what did you mean distracted? No, it's just stuff going on at work. It's nothing. I just... Oh. Okay. No. I just thought maybe you uh, saw my new patch. You... No. 
Nomad? Wait, you, you quit the club? No, I didn't quit the club. I would never quit the club. Uh, uh, nomad, what it means is, um, well, I'll be less involved from now on. Zeke, I didn't ask you to do that. Oh, I know, I know, and if you had, I would have said no. <laughs> you ready to try this again? Yeah, I mean, no, but yeah, I will. My goodness. Okay. <laughs> Thank you for saving my life. <laughs> well, you know, I do what I can. She kind of gave up everything for Sarah. I know what the clutch is. And now she's gone. <laughs> Damn it. So, Why they gotta hurt uh, us like this? You think your parents are gonna come? You know, I, th I thought if I step back from the MC that, uh... I don't think it's gonna matter to them, Deacon. But you're gonna, you're gonna at least tell them. Yeah, if you want me to. Look, it's just, I'm not gonna change who I am and who you are to make my uptight, middle-class parents happy. Okay. Wait, didn't we come from here? Are we no. going back? I see them. Hey, How are they? Are they headed to your work? Oh, we were just kind of taking like should, this is like her lunch break. Oh, I see. Are any of them coming now that you've gone nomad? Oh, uh, I don't know. Uh, it's probably been a while since any of them set foot in a chapel. Uh, and you really want twenty-seven Harleys rolling up in that little church in Marion Forks? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know what? As a matter of fact, I do. Unfortunately, uh, nobody sure. comes. Just Boozer. What happened? Something bad. Oh, is this where the, where the outbreak started? That could be. So, Sarah on her lunch break, she's riding the motorbike with uh, Deacon. What's happening? I don't know. Miss Whitaker. Yeah. She's been trying to get a hold of you. Says it's urgent. It's always urgent. Let him know I'll be right there. Okay. I gotta go. Have a good day at work. Fine, it's probably just a fire alarm or something small. Okay. How come dead? <clears throat> Love you. Um, just call me later. Love you too. Don't start the apocalypse. Don't start the zombie apocalypse. <laughs> Be careful out there. Hey man. Oh yeah. <laughs> nice. Damn it, dude. What is this gonna trigger though? So something started at the research facility, right? Is this like the source of the virus or something? Could very well be. Daydreaming. Daddy, sorry. <laughs> whatever, Daddy, whatever, Ricky. I'm sorry. What happened? I was daydreaming. What happened between you two? Clearance. Uh, O'Brien, this is St. John. Come back. O'Brien, this is St. Just answer your goddamn radio. St. John. Again. Yeah, neither did I. All right, listen, that night you bugged out. You told me that you didn't take any civilians. You just took uh, Nero personnel, feds, people with clearance. I told you there was Shut up, shut up, shut up. Listen to me. Sarah, my wife, she had clearance. She had her ID badge with her the night that I put her on your chopper. So just do me a favor, look it up. Sarah Irene Whitaker. She worked at Cloverdale. She had federal clearance. She was doing uh, research pharmaceutical. I don't know what she, the hell she was okay, doing. Just okay. do me. I'll see what I can find. We're, do, we're going back okay. down this road? O'Brien, remember, you owe me. Yeah, yeah. O'Brien out. Are we going back on the on the same... We're, st we're not letting go. We're turning every rock over. It makes sense. Makes sense. I would do it as well. Hell, I don't know. St. John, this is O'Brien. Hello? O'Brien, what do you got? I need to see you in person. Brian, just would you tell me what you found is, is she is she alive or isn't she? I have something to give you. Well, Brian, what do you have? The coordinates. Meet me there. He actually right found now. something. No right. way. Oh, God damn it. I thought that we lost all hope. Iron Mike's looking for you. He said, Screw Iron Mike. Listen, just uh, tell him I'll be back. I gotta. You remember what I told you? Um. The night that Sarah died, Nero, they bugged out. They only took their own people, feds, and people who had federal clearance levels. Wait, Deke, what the hell are you talking about? Look, it's probably nothing, but there's 
Something I gotta do. Deacon out. Oh my god. What? Wait, there is no way. Alright, I'm not gonna speculate or anything. We're just gonna go meet O'Brien, see what he says. Why am I here? Okay, that is the quest. So let's see what he's... Uh, it's another one with Sarah, so hopefully... There is no way, right? Everything pointed to that she didn't make it, right? Every... Every direction pointed to Sarah didn't make it. There is no way they're gonna bring her back, right? I don't know, but I'm excited to see. Let's go and see what's what's happening. And we have made it. Yeah, there's the chopper. And there's O'Brien. Oh, he's got a lot of people with him. So what the hell? I managed to recruit a few guys who I trust, like me, aren't happy with what's going on. Ah, so nice. Am I, here? I wanted to give you this. <gasps> you were right about your wife. How did you get this? When Silver Lake evacuated, they took Nero personnel, federal officials, and well, Sarah Irene Whitaker had a class four federal clearance. No. Office. Your wife bugged out with a recon unit east of Fort Roth. Take me there. Yeah, take no. me there. No. Well, you got a ride. We're all friends now. The base is gone. Damn it. A year ago, local militia group. Militia group? Where's their camp? We don't know. How the hell can you not know? You got a helicopter. You got satellites. Somewhere around Crater Lake, but it's a no-fly zone, okay? They got outposts, rockets, RPGs. Take out RPGs. Crater Lake. Oh, I wanted to tell you about the work we're doing. Studying the infected, the freaks. They're evolving. As bad as things are right now, they're gonna get worse. Damn. A lot worse. Well, that sucks, but at least. Uh, I don't even know. Crater Lake, right? Is that where we're going next? It makes sense that we're at least checking out that place, right? Oh man, Cloverdale. Did they start the virus? Okay, we still have more to do. Oh my, new mission, why am I? It's still this one, okay. Riding Nomad, nomad again, okay. All right, and here we, are, here we are back at the camp. Let's see, apparently Iron Mike may know a way towards uh, that crater lake or whatever it's called. But apparently Iron Mike is very upset with us as well. I don't understand why because we took out the Reapers, we took out the threat, so... Riding no Nomad again, advancing the story will temporarily lock you out from the northern region. That's fine. I've done every side quest, I've done everything. I didn't put it on camera, but I will have done everything. <laughs> Tielson Pass. He told me once that I I'd... told you nothing. Go on. Oh, I can't on. help you, Deke. Just draw me a goddamn map. After everything you've done. After everything I've. What about what you've done, old man? Huh? huh? Sherman's you camp. The things that you, you get out of here. Listen to me. Listen to me. me. Listen to me. What if you could take it all back? How? What if you could fix it? What does that mean? The fact that I put Sarah on a chopper, I felt relieved. How fucked up is that? Extremely. Uh, I was relieved, Mike. That's what I've been living with. And now you're chasing ghosts. You think finding your old lady, if she's alive, you think that's gonna fix it? Make you whole? Yep. I don't know, but I gotta try. Come on, Mikey. You right. owe me. You let Skizzle go. If I do this, what you want, show you the way over the pass. You don't come back. Fine by me. Right, you promise me. You don't come back. I got you. Dude, Deacon just helped the camp. Like we made, we we repaired the electricity. We uh, we saved the camp from reapers. Oh, Been doing bounty. Talk to Boozer. Like, I don't understand why Mike is upset. Like, we we took out the report leaders. They're not going to attack the camp anymore. Did we provoke the reports? Yes. <laughs> but they had some BS treaty. Like, come on. Wait, riding Nomad. Doesn't that mean that you're solo? Oh, no. Are we not taking Boozer with us? I don't want to leave Boozer behind. 
but I think it makes sense because we kind of sacrificed our time with Sarah to save Boozer. So it makes sense that we we leave Boozer here now to go for Sarah, if she's alive. Moving on, meeting with Boozer will advance the story, locking you out of Last Lake as you ride south with Iron Mike. Make sure you take the time to turn in any last bounties or visit any vendors before you talk to Boozer. I mean, I'm good on everything, man. Here we go. Yo, Boost man. <laughs> Here's my jacket. Take care of it. Oh, this is. Oh no. Last winter, we were up on Farewell Ridge. We we're watching the freaks. Thousands, thousands of them. I mean, too many to count. Yeah, I remember. All I could think was, every one of us, man, woman, and child, are now homeless. A bunch of goddamn refugees. What belongs to them now? We'll survive. Yeah, we've been doing that all right. Surviving isn't living. <laughs> Something Jack used to say. Doesn't matter when you hit the road where you're heading out to, but you damn well better know where you're coming home to. But what? You know, we never talked about it while we still wore the colors. All this time out in the freak show when shit like this didn't matter anymore. Uh, yeah, but I think last two Mongols on Earth farewell originals. Hell yeah. Micro boys, <laughs> just badass drifters on the broken road. Damn straight. Yeah, I guess we did become sort of a brand. The we were a lot of things, but we were never a brand. <laughs> Damn, this sucks, man. When we rode out of farewell. Without Sarah, without Jack, or anyone. I knew that we were leaving everything behind. Everything that mattered was gone. Except this. Now I'm giving this up as well. Red Nomad again, huh? Yep. Yep, I guess I am. Come with me. <gasps> the poppy, look at the poppy. Come on, Jack. Inside, let's go. If she's out there, you'll find her. Hell yeah. It's a big if, but. <laughs> oh no, we're leaving Boozer behind. Oh, I got a new jacket. Nice. Yeah, Mike, I'm ready. Meet me at the gate. Holy Don't crap. Keep me waiting. Oh, shut up, Mike. Yeah, sure, Mike. Whatever you say. I'm sad over here. We're leaving Boozer behind with the puppy. We're riding Nomad. We're trying to find Sarah. She may or may not be alive. We're, we're going to find out next time, hopefully, because I'm going to end it right here for now. What a journey, man. I, I'm really happy with the story. It's very good. I like it. And I like that Deacon hasn't given up either. I kind of did. I thought we were down the Sarah things, but turns out she may be alive. But that's about it for today. I hope everybody enjoyed. In case you did, be sure to drop some stuff and things down below. Make sure to subscribe. Thanks so much for hanging out, and I will see you next time with some more Days Gone.